I come in with high expectations uh, that we're going to follow directions and have fun at the same time. I'm gonna reach way up to the sun and open my arms for everyone. And like an apple this sweet, I'm gonna be so sweet. Like an apple shines in the sun. It's, it's never a, a bad day when you teach. Even if I'm having a bad day, just to see the kids and to teach them, you can't have a bad day after that. -E Every day you come to school and it's a new adventure, it's never the same. And it's hard to explain to anybody else who is not in education. Once niños está presente. May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December, 12 months in the year. Cha-cha-cha. There's something about math problem solving that you don't really get anywhere else. It's a puzzle to crack. And math has its own language, has its own terminology, has its own relationships. So what does that mean? What does that fact family? How does that work? So there's something about um, working with this other language that is very foreign to, to many kids, especially in third and fourth grade, and just seeing them sort of uh, crack that code uh, and learn that language and have some aha moments and do some great problem solving and um, some higher order thinking is just really satisfying. Today you're going to be dissecting a sheep's heart and I'm going to be guiding you with a cow's heart so you can see a little bit bigger. I teach because of the students' curiosity. I love to be able to come into a classroom and look around at the students and say, what do you want to learn? Oh, I found one. Look, look. Really hard careers or careers that you would typically think are hard or complicated, when you break them down into the basic things, it's all about being curious, being engaged in your environment, and really loving what you're doing. That's where the blood pumps from. Look, and see how deep it is? So when they come in and ask a question or they say, I would like to do this or learn about this, it's the perfect opportunity as a teacher for me to just run with it and take it as far as their curiosity takes them. Maybe there are two sides to a story. Because usually when things happen, one person gives a point of view, another person gives a point of view, and you have to think about both to understand what really happened. We were actually talking about point of view, and I think they can understand that I might have a point of view of something that happens at recess, but you might have another. Or the way someone tells a story, it's going to be slanted by what their perspective is on what happened. And even if you can just introduce that idea, it leads into being curious about others, being tolerant about others, questioning what people say to you. So just planting those seeds even in second grade, because I think they are capable up to your expectations. Okay, so remember, you don't have to try to talk into the mic. When I'm working with the kids, I really try to give them the steering wheel. They're the driver and I might be guiding them and navigating and providing them information, but from everything to turning on the cameras to clicking at the right place on the screen, I really try to pull back and have them be the driver. I give the children an ability to explore and discover new things that they've never seen before or heard of before. And that to me is what it's all about. We try to teach them about what is real out there and that they are a minority as compared to the majority of people and the hardships that they have to go through. And besides just telling them, we also want them to come up with solutions and be a part of possibly solving these particular problems of the world. Art prepares them for any career they're going to go into. If they're going to be a doctor, if they're going to be a lawyer, if they're going to be a scientist, if they're going to be a writer, they're going to be able to see things with more detail and more depth because it makes us slow down and think. To 
be able to appreciate music, to be able to appreciate art. That's the core of the human experience. Why teach? My great-grandmother was a teacher. My grandmother was a teacher. My mother was a teacher. My father was a teacher. My sister was a teacher. And I'm a teacher. I didn't have to teach, but I really wanted to teach.